what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today is a new day for some more haikyuu hopefully you guys have enjoyed um yesterday's reaction of haikyuu season three episodes one and two i am here to say to you guys today that i'm ready i am ready are you ready for, for episode three and four because i'm ready to jump in not even gonna waste too much time on the intro just know this season these 10 episodes um, of season 3 is all about this matchup because they named the season Karasuna versus Shirato is our right so it's all about this matchup 10 episodes of greatness let's see if they can overcome this powerhouse team number one team in the prefecture um, that has been beating everybody here they practice against college players so I'm ready to see what they have to offer in these two next episodes hope you guys are ready too um don't forget to hit that like button if you don't remember now please make sure to do it later and hit that notification bell so you know when these uploads are up on the channel anyways thank you guys so much and i will see you guys for the review All right, so that episode took about 40 minutes to record because I said so much. I paused it like three times, I think, um, just to give, just to talk about a couple of things. Um, so I did a probably around, probably around 15 minutes of talking, <laughs> you know, but I, I'm not, you know, apologizing for it because... I hardly do it. I don't do it that often, but sometimes it does happen. Sometimes feelings, emotions, things just come into my mind. Things happen in the show that I want to talk about. And if I got to talk, stop and talk for five minutes, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to get my opinion out there because that's what a reaction should be. It shouldn't be just a person just watching the anime, not giving any thoughts about it, and then they um do an an outro talking for literally less less than a minute to give their opinion and it's just like i see people do that all the time and i say it's not okay that's not okay you get what i'm saying like i'm doing the full reactions off of youtube and i feel like i add enough substance to it most of the time sometimes i really do question you know if i did enough for the intro or the, the review in general to justify, you know, uploading 20 minutes of this anime. So for me, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, in terms of two episodes, it would be like 40 minutes of anime. So, um, so sometimes I really do try to put that in perspective and I think overall I'm doing a good job and that's just kind of like self justification you know, um, so you guys can tell me if, if, if you think I'm doing enough, um, or I should do more and I will do more. I don't have, I don't have, you know, you know, any, any qualms or somebody saying, Hey, you know what I'm saying? Since you're doing full reactions, you should probably do like a 10 minute review every time or something like that, which I try to do. I try to keep my review to 10 to, to, um, to keep my review like to 10 minutes or, you know, a little bit under 10 minutes. Sometimes it's, it's shorter, yes, if nothing really happens in the episodes. But um, usually if there's something to talk about, you know, I usually do somewhere between like 6 to 10 minutes. You know, on average, it's way up there. You know what I'm saying? Closer to 10 minutes. So um, these two episodes are really good. Um, kind of focused around, you know, the back and forth in the second set of course and highlighting the great genius on defense suki shima you know which you know is a character it, it, as i've described him has a sleeper character in the show where i knew in some way he was gonna get a moment because they wouldn't have wasted all of that in season two of him going out of his way to practice with these guys that are really good at blocking and stuff like that to waste you get what i'm saying to waste it and we never get to see him put it in a very outstanding and defining moment in the anime um and i know i know for know for a fact that a lot of people that's been saying yo sukishima is my favorite character in the show 
blah, blah, blah. I know that was a moment that probably, you know what I'm saying, brought tears to their eyes and stuff like that because it's a lot of people that experience this as athletes where there's this just this moment, man, where you just break. You just break. You break you break through and you break in tears. You know what I'm saying? You break. Your emotions just break. You just, you can't contain yourself. And that's what I said, like, it's a moment that you can only experience during competition, whether it's at work or in, you know, in sports in general. It's just that moment, man, when you found your voice. You know what I'm saying? You found your voice or why you're doing something. You know what I'm saying? Um, and sometimes it takes a while, as I said, you know, during the reaction and stuff where I was talking about how he, how he portrays himself versus his love for volleyball, you know, and it just goes to show you that I said that I've been paying attention to his actions in the anime and it tells me that Tsukishima actually loves volleyball. He's always loved it, but he doesn't want to give it too much of himself because of what happened with his brother. And he, he holds back. You get what I'm saying? He holds back. But he's actually a genius at the game, at defense, right? And he, and, and he could be a genius on offense, too. He's just not as good. You get what I'm saying? As, say, a Kageyama or, you know what I'm saying, uh, or anybody else, for that matter, on, on offense. Um, he's a reader. He's one of the best attackers above the net. You know what I'm saying? So I give him that because he can spike, too. He can do all that stuff above the net stuff that a lot of the other spikers don't really do he'll do you know what i'm saying he does feints he, he he reads a lot better when he's above the net and that's why i said he's a very defensive and is very cerebral pre a cerebral player right he's very um he thinks on the fly and you don't find a lot of people that do that in sports you know what i'm saying like you know what I'm saying? Think while things is happening. As I've described before, like a lot of things that um, the the whole plays that happen in volleyball, you don't get rallies a lot, but you do get them in volleyball. It, it, it does happen. It's kind of like tennis. You'll have rallies that go on for minutes and stuff like that. It can happen in volleyball, but it doesn't happen often. For the most point, for the most part, when it comes to volleyball, most of the plays happen in you know, five to ten seconds, sometimes even less than five seconds, this stuff happens. So, yes, rallies can go on for long times. I don't know what's the, the longest recorded um, rally in, in volleyball. I don't know. It's probably a good time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, let's, let me see because it must be recorded. So, let me look it up real quick. Longest rally in volleyball history. Right. Let me see how long. One minute, 45 seconds. See, it's not it's, it's not even that long. I mean, that's very long in volleyball terms, you know, in, in, in the perspective of volleyball. That's very long. One minute, 45 seconds. Um, you know what I'm saying? 16 switches like, you know what I mean? So in terms of the volleyball, that's very long. That's a very, very long time. You know what I mean? Um for to get one point <laughs> you know what i mean so um as i said man just wanted to talk about Tsukishima, Tsukishima achieving that moment and against the best spiker in the prefecture ushijima which is a powerhouse that he's proven to be in this matchup i also want to highlight another thing that i was talking about during the episode which is they're highlighting the individuality of shirato Izawa versus the team effort of Karasuno, I think that is a theme of this matchup. Um, I'm not saying that Shirato Izawa doesn't play as a team. I'm just saying they're a team that have these superheroes. And it's kind of like if you're watching like a Marvel's movie where you have these superheroes and each of them got to have their time to shine. It's not so when it comes on to Karasuno. They just do everything on a team effort. Um, Tsukishima knows that he's basically the captain on defense, barring Daichi. He will come in and he'll say, listen, can you let me set the pace for the blocking? You get what I'm saying? Um, because I've been studying the game. I've been watching Ushijima. I've been watching all these other spikers do their thing. I got it down. Just, just let me handle it, right? So I like 
the fact that they're that they're of difference there's a this huge difference you know between going up against Sejo which is which is a lot more team effort you know what I'm saying you know barring mad dog of course um so it's a lot more team effort when it comes on to Karasuno and they still don't really they don't have an answer for Hinata and Kageyama nobody does really they just have to accept the fact that you know what I'm saying? They just have to accept the fact that that you know that quick is unstoppable. Because if you don't know, at first they were they were um, trying to read it, but then Kageyama, you know, Kageyama adjusts on the fly too. He's a genius on offense. You know what I mean? So for him, it just comes naturally as it progresses. Like, okay, you caught on to this move. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not gonna be catching me off guard. For the entire game. Don't think that you're going to be able to. Guess block me. <laughs> the entire game. You know what I mean. So um, so in any case man. I'm loving it. I'm loving the direction. Of where this season is going so far. Suki just now. I, I don't think this one block is going to. Get Ushijima down. Or anything like that. Or he's going to start missing. But he's definitely going to put some respect on Sukishima's name. You know what I'm saying. For sure for sure. He's going to get that respect. But in any case, guys, it's all I have to say. I've said enough during the episode and in the review, in my opinion. But in any case, guys, I'm loving this anime. That moment was an epic moment where Tsukishima got to shine. And I don't regret one minute of watching episode four of season three. You guys are amazing. You guys have been doing amazing with these videos, man. We're up to like 200 views per upload. So... I think we're doing pretty good. Even the ones that I just released, see, um, the rest of season two, um, you know, you guys have been killing it. You guys have been killing. It. Would love to see you guys leave more likes on those videos, though. I'm not gonna lie, a lot. You can't have 200 people watching a video and only like 12 people hitting the like button. Like, unless you guys, unless the rest of y'all are not enjoying the reactions. <laughs> I don't know. So should I set a light goal at the beginning of videos now? Maybe I should do that or maybe you guys will, you know, maybe I should do that. Um, so that's something I should think about doing at the beginning of videos. Tell you guys, okay, we need 50 likes or we need 100 likes, whatever the situation is. But anyways, just leave a like, leave a comment. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace.